if you feel empty and believe something is missing in your life even though everything seems to be going on smoothly for you i mean you've got a great job you've got a loving spouse you've got great kids and you have some good assets to your name but you still lack the inner fulfillment and happiness then maybe just maybe you need to stop looking outwards and look inwards just as Mark Twain said, there are two most important days in your life. The first day is the day you were born. And the second most important day is the day you found out why you were born. Now permit me to add that the most important day in your life is the day you found out why you were born. Because that is the day you only truly began living. That's why it's your purpose and until you discover your purpose, you would only merely exist and you might only have to manage that void for the rest of your life. However, you don't have to continue managing that void if you don't want to because the purpose of this video is to help you discover the purpose of your life. And so I'll be taking you through some practical steps on how to help you discover your purpose in 2024 and start living a fulfilled life. To start with, we need to get our mindset straight. Your purpose is the reason for your existence and that thing which gives your life meaning and direction. You need to know that everyone has a purpose because your creator is an intentional one. And in Jeremiah 1 verse 4, it reminds us that before we were born, he created us, he knew us, and he gave each and every one of us a purpose to fulfill in life. Without purpose, life would be meaningless and lose its taste. And remember that we are called to be the salt and the light of the world. And particularly in Matthew 5 verse 16, Jesus Christ urges us that we should let our light shine so that the whole world would see our light. So this affirms that you have been created to live a life of purpose. You shouldn't just settle for just mere existence. You shouldn't settle to be below the bed. You have been created to shine and there is a unique and peculiar thing in you of which I would quickly take you through practical steps that can help you discover your purpose and start leaving purpose out today. Yes, you start leaving out purpose today and not tomorrow because every day of your life counts. So the first practical step to discovering your purpose is to resolve to uncover and honor your purpose today and not tomorrow. Yes now is the time for it so you need to resolve you need to have that firm resolution in your heart that you are committed to uncovering what your purpose is and when you finally uncover it you are going to honor it and you are going to spend every day of your life living and fulfilling your purpose because you don't want to spend the whole of your life waiting for the perfect time to start living and this starts with you differentiating your reality from your perceived purpose. Purpose requires a lot of intentionality and mindfulness. Getting married, having children or having a well-paid job can be your reality but not your purpose. However, you can discover your purpose through them. The difference between two medical doctors, one who is merely existing and managing the job and the other who is fulfilled and enjoying his job his purpose for the first one he sees the job as merely a means or a reality of existence why for the second one the later has found purpose in the job and he finds it easy and you know fulfilling to carry on being a medical doctor because he has found his purpose in line with his job after resolving to uncover your purpose the next practical thing to do is to pray to god to help reveal your purpose to you because of course he is your creator you did not fall from a void or you did not drop from an empty space you were created for a reason and i believe that the best person the person who would be in the best position to truly tell and explain to you why you were created is your creator so the best thing for you to do at this point is to pray to him to reveal that which you have been purposed 
or which you have been destined to fulfill in life. Doing this means that you are ready to start living out the kind of life God desires for you to live. And it pleases God more than anything to heed this request of yours. Remember, Psalms 3 verse 6 says, Acknowledge the Lord in all your ways and it shall direct your paths. So the best thing to do at this point is to pray to God to reveal to you what your true purpose in life is. The next practical thing to do is to have a self-reflection. What can you do? What do you love to do? What can you do willingly and joyfully for free? Certainly not your job. What is that thing that when you do it, it gives you a deep sense of satisfaction? Yes, you need to have a deep self-reflection if you truly want to discover and uncover your purpose in life mind you that these things must be channeled towards others and not to yourself because i mean purpose is about sacrifice selflessness and carrying out ministry i'll share mine with you when i was still on my journey to discovering what my purpose in life was i had a self-reflection and i discovered that I love to counsel people, I love to teach, I love to instruct, I love to coach and to tutor people. And I also realized that whenever anyone comes to me with any problem, you know, with any trouble, be it in your relationship, in your career, in your life, I always have something, you know, I always have something to always tell the person that will be a ready solution. So. You know, at that time, I didn't really pay much attention to it. But when I started being intentional about discovering my purpose, it started to make sense and it clicked. Yes. So that for me was one part of how I discovered my purpose. So you need to have a deep self-reflection. What would you do freely and willingly? Even if you are not going to be paid for one year, for two years, what is that thing that you would willingly and joyfully do without grumbling? Mm -hmm. For me, I know that I can go on counseling. I can go on teaching people freely for years without being paid. That fulfillment that comes from me impacting my knowledge into others, you know, is a sense of purpose for me is a sense of you know of being alive is a sense of service and ministry for me so i think you should start having a deep self-reflection in order to discover your purpose in life however if you still can't think of anything that you love you know as to discovering your purpose then you should check your dissatisfaction check your frustrations check your anger towards something is there something that you continually complain about is there something that you are continually dissatisfied about maybe it might be in your society in your church anywhere at all in your place of work is there something that you are dissatisfied about and you truly and eagerly wish that a change can be done about that mm -hmm. you recall that is the cue what if you are meant to create that change? I mean, you can't continue waiting on for someone else to come and carry out that change. You have perceived this dissatisfaction and you have perceived a gap. Why not take it upon yourself, you know, to fill in that gap? Because you never can tell there might be a thousand more people who are eagerly waiting for one person to create that change. So why not be that person? Who would create that change and that might just be your own way of living out a life of purpose for me my own satisfaction that led me into discovering my purpose was the way negativity was flying all about about marriage and the way more women were continually drowning in rebellion and masculinity by the day no that was the cue for me that was it and i knew that i needed i knew that i needed to stand up you know and to start living out purpose so i'm currently in my journey right now and i'm living out that life of purpose if you still can't think of anything okay then this might just be your cue you need to check out your experiences and the weaknesses that you have conquered it might be that you have at one time in your life been through abuse addiction delay infertility you know something really messy but somehow you found your way out and you came out victorious yes another cue 
that might just be where your purpose lies in now have you stopped to imagine if your past of being a drug addict and your present of being clean is linked to your purpose what if maybe just maybe you have been purposed to lead more people out of drug addiction mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes think about it yes think about it think about it your purpose might just lie in your weakness which you have conquered what if just what if you have had to go through those years of delays of waiting of infertility just so that you can mentor and hold the hands of so many people who are currently in this same phase that you have once passed mm -hmm. you might just be living and fulfilling purpose by doing this these experiences might carry your purpose in fact everything that you have ever experienced in life has been purposeful nothing is coincidental or by chance it has brought you to where you are now and you can start helping others go through it also i've seen women who went through infertility discover their purpose in that phase and now they are helping other women who are going through similar phase and i know of someone who once had a failed marriage that person now coaches people on how not to have a failed marriage and also that person has gone on to write books that prevent people from making the same mistakes in marriage so you see you might turn your pain your experiences or your weaknesses into purpose purpose is essential for living a happy and fulfilled life and most times you might find that out someone else or maybe many people are already doing that which you feel is your purpose don't be discouraged because even though everyone is doing that same thing no one can do it the way you would do it so there is always something unique there is always something peculiar for you to fulfill in your purpose and it is waiting for you so rise up and start fulfilling your purpose however just as saint paul tells us in first corinthians 10 verse 31 in whatever you do make sure you do it to the glory of god mm -hmm. Thank you for watching up to this moment. If you know you found this video useful, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'll be bringing more valuable videos your way. And also share this video out. You never can tell. Someone out there might be in their need of this video. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.